BCW comic book bin, cardboard comic box. BCW comic book bin, regular comic book box. I don't know. What's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Superpower Review. I'm your host, Ken Rudinia, and um, I review things. Today we're gonna be looking at the BCW comic book bin. Uh, there's been a lot of hype about this, so we're gonna give it like sort of like a breakdown. Uh, I'll give it a review, and then um, I'm going to kind of compare the comic book bin versus a regular comic book cardboard box. So let's get into it. Um, in case if you're looking for this on the shelves, uh, this is what the box looks like. Um, obviously you can tell this would not fit in this, so there is some assembling required. And then we're just going to go over the features of some of the uh, comic book bin. Um, the lid is the lid is, uh, moves like so, hold on, I have it locked. So this is what the lid looks like. So it kind of has like flaps that opens and then uh, they just kind of like snap together. They snap really shut like that. And then um, it's, uh, it holds about 150 comics. Uh, it comes with a divider, which um, if I were you, I would probably not use this because this takes up room for your comic books, uh, but you, uh, they do give you some slots on the bin so you can put in more. And then um, other things, uh, you can lock your comic book bin too. So it comes with locks here, so you can lock it so the lid doesn't come open. Um, I don't know why, or maybe you have kids who like to go through your comic books and, you know, like, likes to destroy things and they're like little, like, demons. I don't know. Um, and then over here you got, like, little card, uh, holders. So this is, um, I just put something there real quick. That's, uh, a little card made by, uh, Joseph Reed who makes, uh, made multiple appearances on the show. Uh, he also goes on IG by Old Man Venom. So you can put cards in front, valuable cards if you like to, or if you want to just kind of label what's inside the box. I guess that's what that's uh, for. So not too shabby. Okay, so a little bit of a background story time. Uh, for Christmas, I got a $25 gift card. Uh, from a family member and uh, I went to Newberry Comics where I had the gift card and um, I was looking around it was uh, a new week and I said oh let me go see what's uh, new at Newberry and they surprisingly had this comic book bin and I said well everybody's raving about it why don't I go and check it out right so I bought it uh, for $24.99 add you and uh, I put, I got home, put it together, and then I was like, okay, it's um, it's a comic book bin. <laughs> really, uh, not that crazy exciting. So um, I put it together. I put the books in, and then I was just kind of thinking about like, hmm, like why are people so like crazy about this comic book bin at the moment? And I don't know. I really couldn't. I couldn't really come up with ways, so I went on the, the club chat and I asked uh, the Comic Book Fiend Club, I was like, hey guys, like, what do you really love about this bin? Just to kind of like help me like feel better about it, I guess. And like, oh, well, you know, um, it's heavy duty, it's made out of plastic, and you don't have to replace your uh, cardboard boxes. And I go, okay, well, I've been collecting for a while, and uh, I, I used to collect a lot in high school, and believe it or not, this box right here is from when I used to collect in high school, so I have never had to replace a comic book box. Um, I just had to always get new ones because I ran out of room for books. So I wasn't sold there. Um, one person, not from the club, I'll add you, one person said, well, I like it because it's waterproof. Yeah, I don't think it's waterproof at all. Um, so if, you, if, if a tragedy were to happen and you're in your basement and a pipe bursts, hopefully not, and water gets in your books, yeah, this is not 
going to be good. It's going to absorb water, of course. But this thing is definitely not um, waterproof. Uh, when you put this thing together, I don't know if we can get a close-up, Cody. Uh, there's like little seams here, and water is definitely going to get in there. And this thing is uh, definitely, definitely not waterproof. Um, other people were like, well, it looks sleeker, it looks cleaner, uh, it looks better than a box, and I'll give that to you. It does look better than an actual cardboard box. Um, and I think you can fit a little more, I think you can fit more books in this, to be quite honest. It is bigger than, uh, it's a, a tad bit bigger than this short box by length, so, but not by much, maybe by an inch, and you could maybe fit like maybe 10 more books than than the actual uh, cardboard um, comic book box. Okay, so yet again, still trying to go around, see how everybody feels, and everybody's just really liking this BCW comic book bin, and I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, I really don't know why. <laughs> um, I don't know if it was just so hyped up so much that when I got it, I got so excited and I don't know what I was expecting. And then when I bought it, put it together, I was like, a comic book bin, like, yes, like, all right. Now it just does exactly the same thing as, as that does, but it cost me five, four times more than what that does. So comic book, BCW comic book in, bin, I paid $24.99 for this. Um, using the gift card, and I'm going to be completely honest with you. I wish I could get my money back from this thing. It's not that. Uh, don't get me wrong. I don't think it's a bad product. I, you know, it's a nice product. But like I've said in the past, um, or in the show already, that it does exactly the same thing as this thing does. Um, but it's this is way cheaper, of course. Um, does it have a locking mechanism on it? No, it doesn't, and I don't see what the point of the locking mechanism is. If you can please explain to me why the locking, the locking mechanism is so important on this comic book bin, please leave a comment in the section below because uh, the only thing I can think of is that it makes it childproof. <laughs> that's, that's the only thing I can think of. Um, for the card holders, um, I can as easily take a, uh, a Sharpie or print something out if, if I don't want to make it look too bad. If I want to make it look a little more neater, I can always print something out and put it on the box if I wanted to. But I like to you know, put some nice stickers on my box. Um, what else does this thing have that uh, the, I already went over the locking features? Uh, I do have to say that it does look better than a box. It really does. Um, but is it worth paying four times more than an actual box overlooks? I don't think so. In my opinion, I really don't think so. So if I were to give this comic book bin a CGC grade, I really don't know what to give it. Um, I would actually, mm, I'm, I'm leaning more toward like a nine, a 9.2 in that range, okay? I don't want to like completely crap over this product because uh, it is a nice bin, but like I said, it does the same exact thing as that thing does, and uh, I don't know. So um, for this going for $24.99 and a regular cardboard box going for what, $3, $5? Um, uh, to be quite honest, guys, what I'm gonna have to say to you is I would save your money, and then, um, I don't know, buy some weekly pulls with it. I, I would actually not go for this. If you're looking, if you're going for looks wise, if you want something to look a little neater, a little cleaner, then yeah, go for the bin, I guess. But if you don't care about how things look and you know, it's, if you don't care that it's just a random cardboard box, then I would go for the regular uh, cardboard box. I really don't see a point in this thing. Um, I, and I would kind of, I wish I could, kind of get my money back on this bin because I really don't kind of see, I don't really see the point. Um, oh, and it's got handles and so so does the regular cardboard box. This has handles, it's hard to see on camera, it's a little dark, but uh, I don't know. Both have handles, they both equally do the same thing. One's biodegradable, hey if you want to go down that route, uh, one's biodegradable, 
one isn't. I don't know if you're an environmentalist and if you care about our planet, but uh, again, this is the, uh, the better thing. So I think that's gonna do it for today's episode. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more stuff from this channel, like reviews of you know, comic book supplies or statues and whatnot, uh, subscribe to the channel. And I think that's gonna do it for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys really soon.